Hello guys again. Today I have a tutorial that one of you guys have asked me in the Minecraft forums. I'm sorry I cannot show who was the person because I do not have internet connection at the moment. But I am going to record the tutorial and I will upload it later on other place because in my house I do not have internet right now. Anyway what the this person told me was he wants a mod that shows like in your inventory like let's say in the bottom of your inventory the creator of the mod so once you open in the inventory inventory or whatever i don't know how to pronounce that you will see that and it's very easy you just have to go here to your base mod and you will find something that is on tick in GUI copy that paste it on your mod whatever and I've just set up here a mod underscore show that means that we are going to show who was the creator of the mod and the first thing you have to do once you paste the on tick on GUI in GUI I'm sorry is change the return to true so now that that is done we need to check if the G screen that we opened was the inventory and to do that just write if open close brackets and let's say if GUI screen which is this variable right here it's instance of this is a new, I don't know what to call it, but we never used this before. If I'm, I'm going to cover this in my Java tutorials, but I'm a bit behind on what I should be right now. I should have some tutorials recorded on Java, but I do not have, but that is for another day. I will upload them later. But let's say if the GUI screen is an instance of the GUI inventory we can then write something and let me ch let me show you this so you guys can see what I mean by that so system system I'm writing out dot print line and let's print we Forgot the T. We are on the inventory. Inven inventory. Okay, let's run this program and let me see if I have here a world. Things too loud for me. Let me just. This can be like that. Single player, let's grab a world. And. Oh, yes, this is my world. Once I go to the inventory. What? That should have been printed. But, anyways, <laughs> this is working. Let me just show you set in game hook oh i forgot mod loader dot set gyu hook this true and false forgot about this line the set gy hook because we are working with gy's and i i totally forget it but anyway if we run it again this should and will of course print out and now what we need to do is grab this variable, minecraft variable, and let's say minecraft dot font renderer. This is what renders all the fonts in Minecraft. And let's say we want to draw a string string with shadow. Why not? And if we just write dot draw string with shadow, we will get four variables, four inputs, 
and the first one is the string we want so mod and mod by let's say world intel the second one is the position on the screen x position on the screen so let's say 10 the second one it's the y position 10 as well and the third one it's the color so let's say color dot white dot get RGB because this is an int value and well now if we run it we should get this mod by world intel at the top of our screen so let's just run it and I can show you that that is what happens mod by world intel well let me just take the shadow draw string shadow makes things not good if we run it again let's open the world and let's look at it mod by world intel and if you change you can place this wherever you want you just need to change these two values this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate so very very easy you can use this to so you guys can see who was the mother of your GUI, of your GUI what, what am I saying, of your mod. Well, I just did it because one of you guys asked me for, and this is very easy, and it was about geese, so this goes into my GUI series. And well, very easy, it's done already. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you guys like the video, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, because that really helps. And until the next episode, guys, I hope you have enjoyed, and peace out.